Hey, how's it going, Math 3? I wanted to go over this domain and range in this YouTube video um, just so that you can, um, if you were picking up your supplies today, that you would be able to um, get in on this and reflect on how you did. So this is obviously anonymous names, and I'm going to kind of just highlight a few things that I noticed. Um, right here, when you're listing domain and range, you basically want to... Um, make sure that the left and right bounds um, basically go right up to the point, just like that. Um, and so uh, the same thing for this one. This one will want to, you need to go all the way across to the right side as well. And then um, because, because this goes um, on the X axis, it goes from negative three up till six. This would be the correct answer. Um, so most of you got that. That's good. Um, negative two wouldn't be correct. I mean, it's pretty close, but um, yeah, they're, those are just one off. Uh, okay, so let's look at the next one. Okay, so this one looks pretty good. Um, the left and right bounds look all perfect. So um, this goes from, uh, let's see, negative three to zero. And that would be um, the correct answer. And most of you got that one. Um, this one saying that X is less than zero means that everything to the left of zero, even, even the, over here too. <clears throat> Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna get into more of those in, in a little bit. Okay, this is an interesting one. This is one where I did have um, the most. I, I put in a lot of comments, and so right here I put, um, or it's negative one, and it looks like it goes to ten, but um, it actually this arrow means it goes on to the right forever. So it will be everything greater than negative one so x is greater or equal to negative one um, and that would be the the correct answer um, so it wouldn't be from negative one to ten because this arrow tells you it goes to the right forever so that would that would be the one um, so most people put that negative one to nine because it looked really close but uh, remember it doesn't stop because of the arrow uh, that tells you it doesn't stop and so it goes on forever and so here you have x is greater than or equal to negative one, and that would be the correct answer. Um, what we're going to be doing is not so much of this um, inequality notation. We're going to use another notation, but I just wanted, I thought this was a good activity to kind of get you started with that. Um, so yeah, this is going to be, um, let me see, it goes from one to six. Um, but then the question is, is it underlined or is it not underlined? Underline means it's including it. Um, so this dot is hollow, so it is not including it. So it should be this one here. You would only, only want to underline it if it if the dot was shaded in, like this one. This one is definitely shaded in. So actually, it would be this one because this one has the six shaded in because the six uh, boundary is um, shaded in, and then the one is not. So that would be this one. So it looks like um, that would be uh, this one here, which uh, most students chose this one. Um, oh yeah, it is this one here. It must be out of order. Um, so a lot of students chose this one, but this one is incorrect. This one's saying that the one is shaded in and the six is not, but it's actually the opposite. Um, this one's saying they're both shaded in since they're both underlined, but that's, also, that's not true. So it'll be this one for sure. And this one's saying that um, they're both not shaded in since they're not underlined, but this one, uh, the six is shaded in. <clears throat> okay, now this one has arrows to the left and to the right. So it goes, for, it, it is all real numbers. All real numbers means it goes for left forever and, and right forever. Okay, so that was good. Uh, what is the domain? Let me see here. Let me look at this. So the domain would be negative one, and then it looks like to infinity. So negative one to infinity, and this would be um, maybe something like, um, 
yeah, this one would be good. X is greater than. And then I would also include a negative 1 since uh, it goes greater than negative 1. And then this would be um, an underline. X is greater than or equal to since it's shaded in. Uh, so let me look at a couple more. This is perfect. This is good too. Um, so this does say X is greater than negative 1, but the, you want to underline this as well since there's a um, it's shaded in there. <clears throat> okay, now it looks like it goes to 10, but it goes forever. So if actually, if you just get rid of this, then that's a that's perf a perfect answer right there. Um, let me see. Good. That's a good one. Um, this is this is saying x is less than negative one, so you're gonna want to flip that and make it greater than, but also equal to. And I'm sure you could get that, you know, through the the keyboard. Um, x is so it doesn't stop at 15. So you, if you get rid of that, this is saying x is greater than or equal to negative one, which is perfect. Um, good. Okay, now this is, um, you know, we're going to get into this notation in a little bit, um, but I'm going to skip that one. I believe this should be an inequality. Um, this should be x. Okay, so, so I think this one, these are the few last ones. Um, this should be just x is greater than negative 1. Um, okay, so let's go to range. So range is up and down. And it looks like everyone pretty much captured it, except here. Uh, this should go up more to there. It should go as far up and down as, as possible. Um, so let me see. This one, too, I noticed. Um, so this should go up to the top dot and to the bottom dot, which is uh, 1 and 4. So 1 and 4 would be the... Um, the two values that this uh, function is between. And so if we look at all the answers, yes, one and four was the most popular. So that's good. That's the correct one. Negative three and six. Um, well, negative three would be down here and six would be up here. So, um, you know, notice this graph is kind of between just these two here. Um, and then this and we do want to focus on the Y values only. Okay, this looks good. All oh, these look good. This should go up more. Um, okay, so this goes from, let me see. This goes up to 5 and down to negative 4. So it would be this one here, from negative 4 to 5. And so that did get most of the, yep, that's good, negative 4 to 5. Okay. Again, this has another arrow. Um, so you could stop it there, like this person did. Um, but really, it goes on forever. And um, I think I, I saw another student put in, um, yeah, see how that's way, way higher? Because um, this just goes up forever. So um, it just runs out of screen there. But yeah, it goes greater than negative 4, since that's the lowest bound but it goes up forever past that. So y is greater than negative 4 is the correct answer. Um, again, misconception that it stops at 10 because it go the arrow tells you it goes up forever. Okay, so range, um, this is good. And even though it has the bump, I'm glad that um, everyone mostly uh, put it, like you don't stop here at this dot, you go up to the top where this is uh, right here and the same thing here so it goes up to five and and down to one and uh, which one's included it isn't well because it's not touching the dot it's actually touching this line here uh, this line right here is basically saying that um, it's a shaded in dot when anytime it's part of a line or a curve it's a shaded in dot right here and so it is including five it is including the one and that would be the correct answer um, so, yeah, this is the correct answer. This one, I can imagine why you would say the 5 is not being included because of the dot. But notice that the, the, the upper bound of the range is touching the curve, but not the dot. Um, so, again, um, anytime it's a dot, yes, that is not shaded in. It's not including it. But look at this. The, the function 
goes up higher than that shaded in that, that hollow dot and it actually is this point right here which is shaded in any 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 point that's part of uh of a curve or a line is definitely shaded in now this goes up and down um forever so that would be all real numbers um and then this one i want to say this is a good one it looks like it goes down forever but uh it actually stops at zero it's a uh, it's actually a certain a special case where it stops at zero and we're going to get into these functions later on but um yeah anything greater than zero this is actually the correct answer it's not actually touching the zero it's actually just approaching it so it's not including it but yeah this is one that we're going to explore later later on okay so what is the check your work find the miss wait let me see so what is the range okay so it goes down to negative one and up forever so this would be uh y is greater than or equal to negative one so this is good um let me see so what is the range here um i'm not sure about this i have to look at this later okay this is um another one y so this would be y is less than four okay i gotta look at this activity a little bit more okay well that's that's basically all the feedback that i that i have for you i'm gonna look at these later but i don't want to make this video too long and so that is it i'll see you uh later this week